talk about five key errors, though. Workspace salvation, which I hinted at. So, do you bring a Christmas tree into your house? Well, sometimes, well, you're a pagan idolater. Do idolaters go to heaven? Nope, you're not going to go to heaven. Or, that's my alarm. Lovely day. Um, so, they add to the finished work of Christ. What did Paul say? What's the Bible say? And especially in Galatians. You started this race one way. Why are you trying to change it now, right? I'm, I'm, tri I'm marveling that you would do this so quickly. Uh, Paul's like, I'm amazed how stupid you are, right? That's what he's saying in, to a certain extent. He says, and this is a paraphrase, but Galatians is the answer to a lot of this. That's, I just encourage you, if you read Galatians, you're like, bam, 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 bam. It's almost like God knew people like Hebrews were going to come out one day. Well, that's true because the Judaizers were doing the same thing. Hey, that's great. You're in Christ. You're a Gentile. Congratulations, but drop your pants. We need to have a little cutting party. <laughs> circumcision. Paul talks about circumcision of the heart. Paul talks about those who are of the circumcision aren't necessarily of the circumcision. Right? It's a different view. A lot of the feasts and stuff in the Old Testament, you weren't allowed to be part of if you weren't circumcised. Paul circumcised Timothy. That's dedication to the gospel. If you think you've suffered, ask yourself, have you been circ circumcised for the sake of the gospel? <laughs> Timothy, you get to heaven, Timothy, you're like, bro, you ain't, you ain't done nothing. But he didn't circumcise Titus. So the point is, it's, it, there's a, it, it's optional. That, but they'll make, it part of, they'll make it part of salvation. Why focus on circumcision? If you read the Old Testament, circumcision and Sabbath, those are the biggest things. Those are the two key identifying markers of a Hebrew over and against their neighbors. Those are two big things. And Paul is willing to say in the King James, circumcision availeth nothing. For a Jew to say that is insane. That's why he often got accused of breaking the law, even though he never did. But that's a different way of thinking. Why? Because the substance of the shadow has come, Hebrews. Hebrews like almost act as if Jesus has never come. Or what he did was minimal. Ethnic hierarchy. So saying, I'm going to have a boot upon your neck in the kingdom, which is a common phraseology, boot upon the neck for Hebrews, that's clearly ethnic hierarchy. And if you say, well, that's racist, they'll say, turn to Romans 9, Jacob, I have loved, Esau, I have hated, God is a racist. See what I'm saying? Because who's Jacob under the schema? Israelite progenitor, right? Who's Esau? The father of the white race. You may say, wait, they were identical twins. How can one be black and one be white? <laughs> And you may say, how can a dude in the Middle East be? They'll say, look, the Bible says he was red. Now, that's what that really means. They'll say, don't white people get sunburnt and they look red? See, this is Esau. So they like to call white people Edomites. Call them Edomites. Which, again, is totally historically fallacious. But it works because Edom is often condemned in the Bible. And so they use all the scriptures against Edom, like in Obadiah, against white folks. That's why. So some of them have that. But others have a softer, kinder, gentler ethnic hierarchy. Israel of God in Riverdale, Chicago area, Illinois church, 6,000 seat member church, Israel of God, right? They teach, you're, uh, you know, white or Asian, come on in. You can be grafted in. But you can't teach anybody unless it's only other white people. And there was a guy who was going around teaching uh, from a story I heard, Israel of God member. And, uh, and this is one of the nicer groups, right? And they found out, like, his grandpa was white because it's on your father's side. That's how they, they count it. And uh, they didn't allow him to teach anyone who was black anymore because of it. So that's clearly an ethnic hierarchy, right? Um, what you mean, <laughs> uh, you know, if you look at the history of, unfortunately, a lot of the church in America, they clearly practice an ethnic hierarchy as well. So it's almost like these guys are like, well, it's a taste of your own medicine. Denial of the Trinity, the only Hebrews-like group I've ever heard that affirms the Trinity is a guy named Pastor Omar the Bu, and his church almost looks more like a church, but they still are Hebrews-lights. In fact, they affirm the 400-year false prophecy, which says that 1619, slavery began. Therefore, in 2019, something has to happen, such as the ending of our captivity, 1619, 2019. And so they affirm that. They did a whole conference about 400 years. So they're still off balance. There's the only group, though, I know that affirms the Trinity. Every other group denies the Trinity, which every single cult does. No cult you will find affirms the Trinity. The closest, the runner-up for almost getting there, is actually straightway ministry, Pastor Dow and Kabir. They are oneness. 
One is like UPCI, like honestly TD Jakes is, just a little bit covertly. One is flattens out, flattens down the persons, and it says Jesus is the name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. And so the, the Son has a, always existed as a distinct person. He was an idea in the mind of God until the incarnation. And in 1 Corinthians 15, when the consummation happens, he'll actually cease to exist. So oneness is a problem. It degrades the deity of Christ. And all the groups degrade the deity of Christ. Most of them are Aryan, which is an ancient heresy, not Aryan like the racist, Aryan with an I, Aryan. Who are the Aryans? Modern day Aryans, almost Jehovah's Witnesses. So if you know Jehovah's Witness Christology, then you kind of know most Hebrew is like Christology. He's a created being, or he's an angelic manifestation, something like that, but they all do. Now it starts to make sense. Who can pay for sin? A sinless being. Who's a sinless being? God and God alone. If Jesus is fully God, he alone can do it. If he's not fully God in the way the Father is, you don't have a perfect sacrifice anymore. You don't have the level of power you need. So guess what? The second you degrade de Christ deity, you enter into a workspace salvation. Your uh, a flawed Christology almost always leads to a flawed soteriology, meaning your understanding of salvation. Always. They're tied in. Because if Jesus is fully God, fully man, you don't have those types of problems. And that's what Athanasius, who was African, by the way, wrote in his book on the Incarnation way back in the 300s when he was defending the Council of Nicaea, understanding of who Jesus was. All of them degrade Christ down, but they trick you. Do you believe Jesus is God? Yeah. But then you've got to start talking to him. You'll start to, oh, these guys believe lots of people are gods. You start to understand they have, some of them are are semi-polytheistic, some of them, not all of them. So you have to find out what they mean by that. Has he always eternally existed as a distinct individual? Something like that. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Did you get into problems? But if Jesus hasn't always existed, he's not really God, because God has to always exist. God can't come into being at a time where he's not God, because it shows he's not necessary. It produces spiritual imbalance. Go to straightwaytruth.com. Go on the website, side on the left, where you normally have the church's doctrine. It says, teachings, coming soon. It's been coming soon for eight years. It's not on there. But go down a little bit further. There's a section on migraines, UFOs, satanic ritual abuse, incubus. I'm not joking. What's that website? Straightwaytruth.com. It's S-T-R-A-I-T. It's, it's -S no G, no H. That's, that's, they're one of the most Christian-looking Hebrews-like groups. And the reason I'm bringing them up is because that's who Kabir is affiliated with. My point is there's always spiritual imbalance, always some kind of spiritual imbalance. And my point is you don't have doctrinal beliefs about key things, but yet you have these other entries. Go to Israel of God's website, one of the most organized groups out there, and again, one of the more moderate ones. No section on doctrinal beliefs, but yet tirades on the front page against Christmas and Easter. Like that's the most important thing you got to know. Spiritual imbalance. You'll see when you start talking to guys, you're like, wow, this guy's really off. Like, this is uh, not a good look. <laughs>